Hey, how's it going, guys? Welcome to the show. We are back. We had a little bit of a break, but we're back. Uh, my name is Justin Stephen Ford. I am the author of the new diverse picture book, I See Me. And I'm so excited that you are joining us today. Um, we are talking to everyone. This is a resource platform for children's books. So whether you are a independent author, published author, literary agent, illustrator, or you just want to find a great book for a precious kiddo that's dear to you, this is a one-stop shop. So I won't talk anymore because we have a guest that is waiting. Without further ado, you are just in time for story time. Let's do it. <laughs> Cheers. Doing well, Justin. How are, How are you? you? Good. It's. I feel like I'm a little bit of a fan. I'm. I'm fanboying right now because I followed your journey for a little bit, and um, you are one of the. There's several people that have had an impact, and you definitely have had an impact on me getting my book out. Well, likewise, so I'm a fan as well. I love the live that you do. I just love your energy. So <laughs> when you when I saw you were doing them, I'm like, oh, I would love to talk to Justin. He's good vibes. So thank you for. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Absolutely. I'm glad you're here. How many people say you look like Rihanna? I used to get that when I was like younger. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I'm going to go ahead and give you a little intro so that everyone knows who you are. And then we're going to have a little bit of a conversation. You. How's that sound? All right. Perfect. So our first guest, our guest today, guest of honor, is the author of children's books, Girls Like Me, where she encourages children to explore STEM and other career, career fields from an early age. She's a speaker, consultant, and mentor who helps individuals achieve success in book marketing. She believes in highlighting stories which showcase families of all backgrounds in positive main character roles. She's on a mission to empower children and families to explore diverse literature and develop a healthy attitude towards reading. Please welcome my guest, Valerie Tompkins, ladies and gentlemen. Hello. 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 <laughs> You're a star, so we have Thank to give you your flowers. Yeah. So tell us a little bit of, I know that's a, a brief bio and you, you do so sure. much. So tell um, us a little so bit I'm Valerie yourself. Tompkins. I currently live in Atlanta. I moved here from Ohio, like as soon as I published Girls Like Me. So it's like, it was the pandemic. I wrote the book, moved to a new state. And then I'm like, okay, I want to get outside at like vendor events, bookstores, all that fun stuff. Um, so I published Girls Like oh. Me in 2021. Okay. Um, and it was, I started on Amazon and it was like a slow start. I didn't really know what I was doing. I'm like, okay, the book's here. Now what? And little did I know, it was the marketing that's been really the heavy work. Um, so I got on social media. I started doing ads. I would go live to just talk to different authors and learn from them so I could like pick up notes and look while I'm learning, while I'm going. Um, so it's just been a really good time. And from Girls Like Me, Boys Like Me yeah. came about. And so I finally like, have the copies in front of uh -huh. me. So that's new this year. Um, but yes, it's been a lot of fun. And yes, go Ohio. <laughs> okay. So what? Um, I grew up in Canton, Ohio, Ohio, Northeast. But I, I I'm from really, I love Cincy. I have lots of friends in Cincinnati, so I'm always passing through. <laughs> yeah. Good old Cincinnati. Very nice. So you got your book out. So you, I'm just gonna dive right in. Ohio in the house. That's right. Um, so I'm going to dive right in. So you write the book, right? How did it, did you always want to be a children's book author? Did you, how so did that no, start I grew up you? loving to read. I was, I'm an only child. So I've always been like a reader, a book girl. Like I would go to the bookstore with my parents. So it's always been a thing, but then I never really wanted to be a writer. I was in like corporate working in banking, but I always wanted to sort of do something different, like have a hobby. Everybody sort of has their thing and I really didn't have one. Um, and I learned that like everyone could write a book, right? You don't have to be a distinguished author or have a long history of it. I just started doing my research on like Google and YouTube and saw that, okay, I can sell my own book. I just have to find people to buy it. Mm -hmm. Exactly, exactly. And I mean, that's the beautiful thing about the internet and technology these days. Anybody can be a writer, but not everyone can be a successful writer. And you've been a successful writer. Um, how was the marketing piece? Let's talk about that just a little bit. 
Um, Cause I'm sure it just wasn't all, you know, no, rainbows. Not at all. So I started with what was free, which was social media, right? You can post about your book, go live, make content. And I just really made an effort to like be consistent, but I didn't just want my message to be by my book. I'm like, hey, I learned how to do this for free. So whoever's interested, this is how I did it. And little did I know there's so many other people out there that also wanted to write a book, a journal, a novel. And so just being able to like build that community helps with my marketing as well. So I'm mm -hmm. always just transparent. Like, yeah, mm -hmm. I had no idea what I was doing. I've wasted money. I've done things that didn't mm -hmm. work out, but like trial and error and we're just going to stay consistent. Mm -hmm. So you have that little, that stick to it to miss that out of that persistence because it can really be defeating when you, you have your book and you think this is the best thing in the world. And then you drop it and you just don't really see, you know, the sales or, and it, it takes yeah, work. So it takes a lot of work. The first couple months can be so. tough because of course you have your family, your friends, but it's like, okay, once they all have the book, what about everybody else? So that's when you really have to just look outside of your right. circle and like find your audience, find who you're marketing to and like just really stick mm -hmm. with it. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, absolutely. Everybody welcome in in the chats. You're just in time for story time. We're here with Valerie Tompkins, and she's talking about her amazing book, um, Girls Like Me. So I have a question for you. Um, you worked yes. as an IT project manager, right? But you also help individuals achieve success in book marketing with over 15,000 books sold since 2021. How? Like, can you give us a little insider? How? Um, so I'll say it's like the, I, what, what helped me is definitely like my nine to friend about like discipline. Okay. plan like the admin piece like the back end i learned that by like being on the laptop and like working every day so a lot of that transferred over into like being organized being able to multitask and so once people started re reaching out for like can you publish my book or can you do this and i'm like i can't publish it for you yet but like let's talk about it and i can tell you right. how to help um, so I started doing like Zoom calls. Um, and so I'll meet with people for like an hour or just half an hour and they can like ask me anything, whether they have just a manuscript mm -hmm. or they don't even have that yet or just have a Word doc. And I just mm -hmm. tell them everything I learned, um, whether they need to get on Amazon or need like mm -hmm. the printer resource. I just really like to be transparent. And if I mm -hmm. don't know the answer, I've met a lot of people that I can plug them to. Like I do know ladies who will publish a book for you and run your ads for you. So I'm happy to send referrals mm -hmm. to my friends. <laughs> Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That, and that's so awesome of you because you are giving back. You know what I mean? I think I've definitely, when I started this journey, I think we, we definitely do the same thing where you're trying to talk to people, you're trying to speak to people. And there are people who are not as forthcoming or willing to come up off of resources. And so I really feel like as a community, we have to help each other. And that's what you're doing, you know, helping each other. And then you've grown it into almost really a business um of helping other people so um kudos to you on that so let's talk about girl like me yes. all right <laughs> girl i like saying it girl like me is an inspiring picture book showcasing the many different careers that children can uh can let me start that over girl like me is an inspiring picture book showcasing the many different careers that children can pursue while exploring yes. stem how did the idea come about so my um characters are based off of girls i met in college right um so like in inside my book some of my characters are like a doctor an engineer a lawyer and these were like black girls that i met mm -hmm. um that were like sort of the first black women that i'm meeting that are studying like medicine and engineering and i'm like wow these girls are so cool mm -hmm. i wish i had sort of like these role models in my life growing up or to sort of know from a young age, like, yeah, like black mm -hmm. women are doctors and in the White House and let's normalize all of these things so that we're still just mm -hmm. not being the first and the only. Um, and so in my book, I have not just STEM mm -hmm. careers, but I have like an athlete and like some corporate careers and just to show girls that you can do anything. Like even if you don't know someone that looks like you that's doing it, these girls, these women are out here. They want to mentor you. They want to see you shine in their field. So I just really wanted to have that representation and raise awareness. Beautiful, beautiful. Now, something that I love, and you're one of my, the, the first guests on the show that have, have done this, Girl Like Me has been translated yes. into Spanish, correct? 
Why was that oh, important? Just for representation. You um, I'm in an area where there are a lot of um, bilingual schools, or even I realize now schools are adding like Spanish to their curriculum, and it's really common. And so I realized yeah. like, okay, there's more than just English speaking children out there. I want to translate it to Spanish, like French, Portuguese, all the languages, just for accessibility. And Amazon yeah. makes it easy for people mm -hmm. from anywhere to buy your book. And so it's sort of like, why not? Like, I just want all mm -hmm. girls to be able to have that mm -hmm. message. I love that. I love it. You actually inspired me. I was like, I need to think about I see me and getting it, you know, in different languages, because that's so true. It's that you can reach such a broader audience. And I appreciate you being yes, considerate yes, and I thinking about to, all. Like, speak it myself so I can read um, it to the different audiences. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> we have to have a little Spanish lesson one of these days. Exactly. <laughs> um, so boy like me. What about, yes, for the, what about for the little so boys I think girls there? like me just because like I'm a girl, my friends are girls, like it was a really narrow idea. But once I started vending and I met so many yeah. boy moms that were like, well, I have a son. What about my nephew? There's not enough boy books. I don't see any black yes. boy books in the library. And so I'm like, okay, let me do something for the boys. Um, and so it's like I had to uh, just like start over with another project and um, I have a little bit of like different characters in boys like me, so it's not the exact same. Like I threw in like okay. a firefighter and like a okay. therapist, like just some different roles that you don't think about for kids. Because mm -hmm. I just think that boys should okay. deserve to see themselves and okay. have books that they love at bedtime. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, absolutely. We see people getting it for their son. That's exactly it. Hey, we're doing it reverse. So I wrote I See Me, which is, is Black Boy Joy. But my second book is tailored for yes. the little beautiful princesses out there. So for everybody. We, yes. same, we're on the same page. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. The boys, yes. the girls, all of it. Um, now, is, is a girl like me, a boy like me, is it very similar stories, just yes. different characters? Yes, how, I'll how just how say they're different, different just with some of the different characters. Girls like me was really like STEM based, like an astronaut, a chemist, engineer. Okay. And for boys like me, I'm like, okay, well, there's more than just STEM roles, right? But it's like, what are jobs that like careers that you don't typically think about? Like a college professor or like a firefighter or a chef. So it's really just about representation. And so it is funny that if you read the book side by side, mm -hmm. the characters will be a little different. And so maybe the kids in the classroom can exchange ideas yeah. and just have that conversation. Like, what do you want to be? Or, you know, it's not just them. There's more mm -hmm. fields out there. Mm -hmm. You just have to find what, what feels good. <laughs> yes, absolutely. I love it. Someone said this live is giving me so much joy today. That is our mission. <laughs> <laughs> You're giving me joy with that comment. Um, okay, so I have to ask, because I know I've had so many experiences where um, you, you write a book and you see it in, the, in children's hands and it's, you can see it transforming. Do you have one or two specific times you saw your book? And um, like, I'll, wow. I'll say there's been times where like the parents, um, like seeing like an adult woman be able to have a response to that book means a lot too. Um, so I, I did like a, um, a homeschool group mm. and there is a parent that um, she was a parent of uh, like adopted children. Um, she was a white mother and she had like a, a black okay. adopted daughter. And she just mentioned that like, um, so on the front page of Girls Like Me, she's wearing her bonnet, like in bed, just reading her bonnet. And she just said that yeah. little symbolism yeah. and she was like in tears just saying like, wow, my daughter being able to read a book and know that it's normal to wear a bonnet. Like, even though you don't look like your mom or your sister, she can have a book and see, hey, that's me. Right. I'm wearing a bonnet and now I'm an astronaut. Right. Now I'm this. Right. And the mom just said, it's not common that you mm -hmm. find books where she can give to her daughter and just say, oh, this is going to make you feel good. Or this looks like you. Um, it's yeah, right. moments like that where mm -hmm. parents say like, this is such right. a tool. And I'm like, well, I, I didn't even think of that. I just thought mm -hmm. it was a cute idea. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's it's just heart. I like to tell people it's heartwarming work. You know what we're doing. Like it feels good for your soul, um, and it's very true. Like you said in the in the boys like me having college professors and just yeah. careers that we don't normally think about. A lot of times we're exposing children the very first time to them thinking like, oh, I can be a college professor or I can be an engineer. Um, so for that, I thank you. I thank you for that and, and pumping that back into the world. Um, a couple more questions for you, if I can. Okay. 
Okay. Okay. So what would be, this is a, this is a tough one. What would be one piece of advice you would give to aspiring authors? And then the second piece is what um, is one piece of advice um, so you would to give to aspiring to authors? I will say like, have yeah. your plan in place. Um, it's like a lot of people think once the book is out, it's like that's sort of the finish line and you need to have like your next couple months of like right. some marketing ideas. Are you going to have a vendor event? How are you going to get some pictures? Just really if you're taking the time to plan mm -hmm. everything out instead of just launching and oh, what's next? Because mm -hmm. that was me the first time, right? That's why it's like my footing took a couple months right. and I'm like, oh, this is what I'm supposed to be doing. Let me get a website. So I always tell authors like <laughs> take your time and get all of right. that first. So that, you know, you can just really plan and then stay consistent. Because I just say the real work starts once the book is published. <laughs> I, that's when the, the real work starts. Joyce Williams books in the uh, comment yeah. section is saying, have a plan. We need more black men teachers. We do. We do. Okay. So then what piece of advice would to you give children, to children? Hmm. My advice would be uh, to just like really explore and be open. Um, being open to like, it's like kids know that they're supposed to learn, but it's like sometimes kids don't like I as a child, I wasn't thinking to like do research. I'm like, what do I want to be like? What are my options? Like, do I want to go to college or these people are telling me to do this? And it's just like finding out what you enjoy, like what feels good. like do you don't just go into mm -hmm. STEM because like you hear there's Oh, I have to go into STEM to do this. I have to do this. Like really just doing your research right. to see what makes you happy. Right. Um, so that you can do something that it's like you're good at and you feel good about um, and not being like swayed too much by like mm -hmm. outside sources or what people tell you should be doing. So just have your, your own mind. Right. Right. That, I mean, that's great advice. That's great advice for me, let alone, let alone, let alone children. <laughs> but even saying that, have you noticed, I know you said one thing was seeing how it impacted the parents, but a lot of these messages and themes in children's books are foundational and they are good for children as much as adults and grandparents and i think that's the beautiful thing about um children's books is it transcends generationally you know what i mean like it can be for children it can be for our mom or dad yes whatnot the but children the are sponges universal. so it's like it's so cute to hear like the little babies and toddlers like reading lines from the book or just and it's like i'm happy they're saying they're yeah. learning to say positive yeah. things they're positive affirmations you know so yeah it's, it's so nice to see that yes <laughs> exactly exactly so what's, what's next, next for you? me so right now i'm just really trying to be proactive with planning my 2024 um like i would love to have like my like vendor events yeah. and like conferences and things like just set in advance so that it's not like okay what am i gonna do this month it's like i, I need to know what am i doing in january like right. where where am i gonna go to sell this book right. or like speak about it so yeah right now i'm just trying to like mm -hmm. plan events mm -hmm. um just build to do like more schools more libraries um just since the books are since i actually have yeah. books now i just yeah. need to in the community more yes yeah yes yes and that's that's the that's the hard part you know, hitting, the pa hitting the ground the pavement <laughs> yes. and just out there and you're doing the work. Yeah. Um, tell and people so where you they can, can find me. Um, you can find me on Instagram, author Valerie Tompkins. Um, I'm also on TikTok. I've been on TikTok a lot more lately. It's like I started on Instagram, then TikTok started, so I had to get over there. So I just try to I try to balance both. But um, I'm also on Facebook, author Valerie Tompkins, and I'm on Twitter. I'm still new to Twitter. I'm slow to Twitter, but there's an author community over there, so I'm Val the writer. <laughs> And yes, looking for events in your yeah. state. That's what Perfect. I'm doing. I'm like on Google, like Atlanta children's books, Georgia children's books, like Ohio events, like trying mm -hmm. to book mm -hmm. those events. So mm -hmm. thank you. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And even the fact that you're going out of your state, right? Going to Ohio, in Atlanta, like you're taking it further than exactly. just your backyard, They're, which is awesome. there too. They love books everywhere. Yeah. Absolutely. Valerie, thank you so much for coming on the to. show. Will you come yes, back? Fun. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much for coming on the show. Thank you so much for giving us guidance and tips and what's worked for you. And from one author to another author, thank you so much again for the work you're doing um, and what you're exposing um, to children and what you're putting thank back. You so well. so yes, thank you as well. Yes, for your work as an author, for giving authors this platform and just sharing the messages. So thank you. We yeah. love your energy. <laughs>
Thank you. We will, we will have you back in 2024 at some time to talk about what's going on and check back I'll be, in and all I'll that. I'll be waiting stuff, for the invite. All right. <laughs> all right. Sounds good. Sounds all right, have good. Have a good See night. You soon. Have a great rest of your day. That has been another wonderful episode of Just in Time for Storytime. Um, so much information, so much chip, so much positivity. And um, it, she, Valerie was so great at um, how she approached writing books and the importance of marketing and the importance of having a plan, the importance of what to do after the book and her positivity and light shines through. And that's what we're all about here at Just In Time for Story Time. You have a new follow. Thank you. I'm so glad that you're here, Marie. Um, we're here every week um with new authors and um that's what we're trying to do it's a platform so whether you are like i said at the beginning of the show whether you are an author aspiring author um illustrator or you just want to find a good book for someone that's dear to you that's what we're all about here at just in time for story time so we'll be back very soon with a brand new episode and you are just in time for story time take care till next time Thank you.